So 2K brought out a whole set of cards a few days ago for New Year's and basically what they were is a New Year's resolution. So for example, Luca bad at defense. Luca gets a couple of steals, Luca good at defense. And that is the case with all of these players. Cards including a shooting to Kembe Matumbo, a dunking Dirk, and a lockdown defense of Blake Griffin. And in this video, we are going to be trying to complete all of the challenges and going into a game with a full team of upgraded Evo cards, facing one of the best teams in my team and playing against a guy who already had Hakeem and has played over 250 unlimited games this season compared to my 18. So the first Evo that we do is Dirk Nowitzki, and while trying to get Dirk Nowitzki's Evo, we're also Evoing up a couple of other guys. Well, basically the guys that need assists for their Evo, as well as getting the dunks with needed with Dirk. Patrick Beverly's is 20 assists, five three-pointers, and five layups. The five three-pointers, five layups, super easy. So is the 20 assists. Honestly, one of the easiest Evos to get, and Pat Bev becomes a pretty good card. Dirk Nowitzki's is 15 dunks, one of the easiest Evos there is, like, you're gonna get 15 dunks in legitimately seven minutes of playing the game by either throwing lobs or just holding the triangle button for cutting for cuts. And once we completed the assists part of Pat Bev as well as the uh, dunks part of Dirk, we decided to go for some assists with Bones Highland as well and get the three pointers and the um, the layups that are needed with Patrick Beverly for his Evo. So the Evo for Bones Highland is 30 assists, very very easy. Like. You can just get that naturally. Like, it takes about 10 minutes to get 30 assists, to be honest. So we obviously go and get Dirk Nowitzki evo a very quick one. Maybe the quickest one to Evo. And Patrick Beverly is also a very nice and easy one. But at the same time, we don't have Pat fully completed. So we decided to put in Kenyon Martin for a couple of jump shots here. Kenyon Martin's missing one thing. It's his three ball. And with a 59 three ball, making 23s is not going to be too bad. And once he makes those 23s and becomes a lights out shooter, Kenyon Martin becomes one of the best power forwards in the game. He's literally like budget AD. So obviously we're going to be trying to hit some threes with Kenny and Martin, but we're also trying to get the last of the layups and the three pointers. I think we've already got the three pointers actually with Pat Bev. So we are trying to get the last of the layups and we are also using Bones Highland for assists. And one thing I noticed is that because Bones Highland doesn't have really any playmaking badges, it was a lot harder to hit threes with Kenny and Martin than it would be, for example, if we had like a Luca or somebody with a Hall of Fame dimer on the floor. But at the same time, we still did hit quite a few threes with Martin and we got him quite a decent amount of the way to his 20 that needed. And that was the end of the first day. The second day, I just decided, you know what? We haven't finished Kenny and Martin, but we need to do some of the harder Evos. Dikembe Mutombo. This guy becomes the best center. Well, not best center. Best center not named David Robinson or Wembenyama, I guess, in the game. 7-2, long wingspan, elite shot blocker. The problem with Dikembe is he's got a 25-3 ball. 25-3 ball, lads. And you need to make 23s with him. Real player percentage, you'll make them eventually, or you can do what I did and, well, you'll see what I did. All right, so I'm going to put a shoe on Dikembe. I think that's going to make him a lot easier to do. And we're on current gen as well, so it shouldn't be the end biggest deal in the world. Plus four three point, that'll do. That'll do, I don't really care about the other stuff. Plus four three point, that'll do. All right, Luca's going to be our point guard. He's got all the passing stuff, so we might as well use him. Luka Doncic, honestly... Not the easiest one. 25 steals is a lot with a 67 steal. And three in a game can be awkward. Like, there are a couple of challenges where it's not too bad, but if you're just trying to do this naturally, three in a game, you're just not going to get it, especially if you're playing online. So I decided to combo up to Kembe's Evo with Dennis Rodman, who is the exact same Evo. Dennis Rodman, a 43-point rating and make 23s. He does have a long but easy to green release, and he actually has a green window on higher difficulty, so when you play on lower difficulty, it shouldn't be too bad. And obviously the reason I'm going on current gen is because the floor general badge exists, which gives uh, both of these guys a plus four to their three point rating. I genuinely didn't even know, like, you can't even call pick and pops properly. Okay, it's a long two, but I'll take it. Like, if you can hit that shot, you can definitely hit the three. We really, really struggle shooting the ball early with Dikembe Mutombo. Like, he hits a couple of long twos, which is extremely annoying because I miss, I'm not joking, my first 23 pointers with him. I missed my first 20, but he hits his first two long twos. We then go and hit another long two with Dennis Rodman, but the fact that he can hit reds is kind of a testament to how easy this is going to be with Dennis Rodman. Anytime I missed too many threes with the Kembe, I just got bored and started doing the Dennis Rodman Evo. It was fine. When I was hitting with the Kembe, it was good. When I wasn't, we were shooting with Rodman. And like Rodman's literally out here hitting reds. So I decided after the first game where I go like 0 of 12 with Den with uh, Dikembe Mutombo to put bronze catch and shoot on him. The reason why I didn't put like anything higher is because he goes to Hall of Fame anyway. And like I'm not wasting a Hall of Fame badge on getting him Evo quickly. 
At the same time, if I'd gone to real player percentage on next gen, this might have been a bit easier. Especially because anytime I try to shoot a corner through to Kembe, he pretty much steps inside the line. Really, the first one I hit is a freaking fadeaway. Oh my god, we've hit two in a row. <laughs> I've hit two in a row after missing like 20. After making two in a row, we missed another 10 in a row with Dikembe, but at the same time, we are hitting a lot of threes with Dennis Rodman. But eventually, we start to shoot a little bit better. Like, I think I raised my percentage with Dikembe up to around like 20%, which honestly isn't even that bad considering how low his three-point rating is in this game. Oh my god, is it five threes in that game? We're starting to figure this out, lads. We're starting to figure it out. And in the next game, we hit the final three needed to complete Dennis Rodman. Boom, we got another one. We got Dennis Rodman. At least Rodman's going to be real good, I guess. We got him Evo. So how many do we have? Is it three right now? There's a lot of a lot of difficult ones and a lot of easy ones. So let's get Herb Jones. Herb Jones to get with um, with these guys will be super, super easy. Getting Going and getting Herb Jones with the Kembe. Herb Jones has made 25 threes. It is a decent amount. It takes probably a 20 minutes, but Herb Jones is a good release with a good three ball, so it's going to hit a lot of them. Honestly, Herb Jones might have been the easiest Evo because you literally just press the square button on semi-pro difficulty and the ball goes in every single time. While I'm still really struggling to hit my threes with the Kembe, it's very, very easy to hit every single one with Herb Jones. Okay, not bad. Four threes that game for Matumba. That's a pretty good one. So we are still focusing on the pick and pops. A lot of the time, like if I can't get the pop, I'll pass the ball to Herb Jones. So I am getting in and out of games pretty quickly, but I'm starting to get a little bit of a hang of the Kembe's jump shot again. Wow. I said a 21% contested in. All right, we're starting to figure it out now, I guess. We can do it in the next game if we have four. There we go. We hit our first one of the game. We're now starting to figure it out with the Kembe. There we go. We finally did it. Oh, it took so damn long. We've been an hour and 15 minutes today playing this game. I don't really care if they hit this or not. You know, it's kind of crazy for semi-pro. But I think we finally did it. Oh my god, lads. It is. That was hard. That was really hard. And like, that's us in a good spot when it comes to Evos, though. That is us in a real good spot. So, like, go to Kembe, add a player. We have him. We have him done, lads. Oh, that is, that's the hardest one out of the way with. Let's go. And you know what? I'm in a bit of a rhythm, so I'm going to go and Evo with Mitchell Robinson next. Mitchell Robinson is another one of those shooters with a 31-3 ball. I need to make 23s. But unlike the others, he actually has a good release. And Mitchell Robinson's release is actually really good, especially on current gen. And I actually hit my very first shot with him. I and then we came back the next day and I decided to use Kenyon Martin for his Evo because I literally need one three-pointer with him. But I realized it's a lot harder to shoot threes with low three-point ratings on next gen because they don't get the plus four boost from Luca just being on the floor. Herb Jones is still going to hit absolutely everything, but we only need one singular three-pointer to get Kenyon Martin evo up, which was pretty good. He hit his 23s very easily, and Kenny Martin becomes an absolute beast in game. He is incredible. We then put Mitchell Robinson back in the team, and I only realized it here. Next gen is so hard. Mitchell Robinson literally goes 0 for 15 in this game. Oh, wow. That was awful. Like, what am I even doing? I tried to play this game on next gen. That was the dumbest decision I ever made. It is genuinely, I think these challenges are impossible to do on next gen. But at least, on the positive end... Like, we do have Herb Jones Evo. So that is another player Evo, I guess. Like, on the positive end, that, like, we got one more guy Evo. So I'm going to change it up right here. I'm going to go for D'Lo. And he's already done. So I'm going to put Blake Griffin in. So on the off chance, we can just get a couple of, like, fluke blocks and stuff. We might just get some off-ball blocks and steals with Blake, which would be nice for him to get. Blake's a diamond, isn't he? Yeah. It would be nice just to get a couple, even a few blocks so that when we go online... I think it's going to be easier to get steals with D'Lo than anybody else, honestly. Um, so he's going to be instead of Luca. We only have seven steals total with Luca, which is grim. D'Angelo Russell, 15 steals. Not a bad requirement, especially when his steal rating's not that bad. Like, he's got a 76 steal. It's not terrible. Let's be real. That's a completely fine three ball rate. Or not three ball, steal rating. Blake Griffin needing 10 steals and 15 blocks is going to be rough, especially with a 47 block rating. I'm telling you. 
he will just swipe on air. I've tried to block shots with low block rating in this game, and the guys will swipe on air. It's not like previous years where being 6'10 means you get them. This could be the hardest Evo. So we're obviously focusing still on Mitchell Robinson in the pick and pop. And D'Lo doesn't have half dimer, but he does have play take, which does help quite a lot. And at the end of the day, we're back on current gem because the only way we are hitting anyway consistently with Mitchell Robinson. And in this game right here, we only needed two more three-pointers to finish Mitchell Robinson. And we get 22 0 after winning the previous game. Wow. Wow. I won the last game and he literally hit zero. And of course, after not hitting a shot in all of the last game, we hit our first two three-pointers. We hit our first two. But then I'm trying to get some steals and blocks of Blake and I realized Blake Griffin will not block the ball. He just won't block the ball. Steals, whatever. Blake will not block the ball, ever. I'll take it. I'll take it. Mitchell Robinson, that was horrible. We had to go to current gen for him. We do a Mitchell Robinson as an elite, elite card right here. An absolutely elite player. I decided to go online with three people that needed steals for their Evos, and I thought maybe I could get a couple of just natural steals. I actually played more than one game. I think I went 3-0 and playing online with these guys, but I got zero steals and zero blocks total with them all, so I decided to move away from that. Not a good idea. That was really not a good idea right there. I then went the next gen trying to get the steals, and honestly, no matter who I was up against, Blake Griffin just ran straight through my body. So I went to current gen and I changed, well, I went to the same challenge, actually. Jordan Poole, with a 40 steal rating, you need to get 15 steals. This isn't going to be easy at all. We began rotating guys that were needed for steals, Evo, and I became rotating challenges. So I started off with this challenge on Ben Simmons, and we kind of hovered between this challenge and the all gold one, where we're coming up against Baron Davis. And Jordan Poole, surprisingly, with his 45 steal, ends up getting quite a lot of steals quickly here. Oh, it's about time. It's about damn time. We did it, lads. We actually finished Luka Doncic. But we're now at least, thankfully, we're thankfully getting somewhere. So let's go and let's upgrade Luka. We got Luka Evoed. Thank God. Like once we get these steals, it's easy. I thought we were going to be playing online for these. It's just awful, man. It's so diff- like, it's not so difficult, it's just long. So, we need, uh, is he a point guard? Yeah, D'Lo's a point guard. How many steals do we need from D'Lo? Eight. Eight from him, we need six from him, and then we also need nine steals and uh, 14 blocks. 14 blocks isn't that bad. I, I can get the, I know how to get the blocks. But still, this is going to be rough. Probably in an hour or so, I'd say. So we really are just getting steals, but like as soon as we go and finish our steals with D'Angelo Russell, we go and take out D'Lo, we get him upgraded, because he has a decent steal rating, he was very easy to do, and because I'm not trying to get steals with three players anymore, I decide to go and put in Clay Thompson to get his Evo done as well. Clay Thompson, 25 fast break points and 10 layups. Incredibly easy. Like you can get 20 fast break points from 10 layups. Or if not, you can just shoot the three on the break. They're very easy. But once you're getting stopped, you're just naturally going to get this one. Like, you don't even need to try. You'll just naturally get Clay, to be honest. Clay Thompson's was a super easy Evo. Like, getting his layups is very easy. The fast break points, it all depends on how many uh, stops you're getting. But if you're trying, it's not too bad. And, like, we got Clay evo in two games. So it is not bad at all. And then the next Evo, which we had as well as the two guys getting steals, is for JJ Redick, which is basically the exact same Evo as Clay Thompson. JJ Redick is a guy that is very slow, not a very good dunker, and honestly, not even a good shooter in game. And 20 fast break points and five layups is fine, but honestly, JJ Redick, even when he gets the boost to make him fast and a dunker, he's still a garbage man. The big difference is, though, is that JJ Redick is a legitimate garbage man. He is awful. I know he hit that shot here, but trust me, it took four games to get the layups and fast break points. He is a trash can with or without Evo. He sucks with Evo as well. But at least we go and get the final steal needed for Jordan Poole. So basically, all we are left with now is the uh, the pretty easy JJ Redick Evo. And then we're trying to get blocks with Blake Griffin. And I realize whether I go current gen, whether I go next gen, this isn't the old 2Ks. If you've got a 45 block rating, your player will not block the ball. No matter what you do, they will not block the ball at all. We got one block with Blake Griffin. I actually cannot believe it. Hito Turkoglu in this game has three blocks. Hito has three blocks, lads. I have two blocks in three hours playing with Blake Griffin. Hito is a gold 74 overall. 
Can you just block the ball, Blake Griffin? You literally swipe your hand nowhere near it. And Blake went and finished his steals part of his Evo. As well as that, we obviously were doing bones high on the assist right there. But yeah, Blake cannot block a single shot. All right, that's 13 of 14 Evos done. I thought the Bill or the oh, Bill Russell, the Blake Griffin blocks were going to be easy. It is the hardest thing I've done. I played for, with Blake nonstop for like three hours. I got the steals. Super easy. That is 13 of 14 done. And after three hours of Blake being in my squad and me getting a grand total of three blocks with him, I've given up. I just gave up. I'm done. I'm done. I don't care. I don't care. He's got three. He's got three. There's no point. I've spent the last 35 minutes playing this game for zero blocks. Zero blocks in 35 minutes. I've tried everything. I've tried baiting everything. He'll swipe on air. He'll swipe on air. Screw it. I got 13 or 14 done. I don't really care. I can build a team without this guy. It doesn't change the video whatsoever. We have a full team at Evos. I didn't lie. This Blake Griffin card is the worst card defensive card I've ever seen. He literally just swipes and just sw he just swipes on nothing. He doesn't even jump properly. He's slow. He's sluggish. He is a useless garbage man. So we've ended up with these guys right here. We've got Luca at the one. We have got Clay at the two. We got Dennis Rodman at the three. We got Dirk at the four. We got Matumbo at the five. And off the bench, we got D'Lo. We got Jordan Poole. We got Herb Jones, Canyon Martin, Mitchell Robinson, Bones Highland, JJ Redick, and Pat Bev. Not a bad team. Honestly, a really, really solid team. We got a lot of shooters. To be fair, nobody, I think, in the 10-man rotation has a weakness, so we should have a good team. All right, that's a strange old name, isn't it, for the team? Has he really got Hakeem? I, I bless 2K. Ah, oh, here. He's played 200 games! Good steal, Luca. That's the start we wanted to make. And we are open with Luca. Should have shot it. Gonna shoot the fade though. Good shot there. Let's go. Stand still. Please keep standing still. I will rise to gripper you every time. I don't care if you beat me like that. I'm gonna rise to gripper you every time. Nice board to Kembe. Good job. Oh no, he's got like a 58 free throw. Oh, I keep forgetting to Kembe can't shoot free throws. Oh, that's not good. Good. There we go. Good defense, Luca. That's two steals already for Luca here. Wide open three on the break. That's not an open three. What? Great defense, Mick. Oh, I was there. Thank God. He did not deserve to score at that possession. Go into the gap. Good finish there, Robin. Come on. He's just standing still. Take the ball off him. He's just dribbling out in the open. Come on. Got him. Good shot, Luca. It's a bad miss, but you know what? I'll take the shot every time. Okay, dunking Dirk, I guess, might be able to do something to him. To oh, Clay. Like, I don't know what's wrong. That's a very open. We shot it very late. So, like, I'm li I'm lagging really badly right now. Come on, Clay. You've got to dunk that, Clay. Why do you have a dunk rating if you're not going to dunk? Come on. That's horrendous there by Clay. Like, Rodman has five of my six points. Like, he just, he can't even get the shot off. The CPU defense is just too good, even with a bad defender. It's just, you can't use most of these cards. They, a lot of them suck. Some of them are good, a lot of them suck. He's throwing it. Mitchell Robinson, you gotta get that steal. Terrible shot. Okay, we're just getting screwed. We're getting screwed. Let's calm down. We're only gonna be down seven points. We're okay, we're okay. Good, D'Lo. That's a start. Hey, look, we just need to get back this back to, like, within five and we're good. He throws the pass every time. That's the only thing. This guy throws the pass every single time. He's got me caught, Green. Can't, can't come out to that. He blew it. Let's go. Oh, I'll take it. You know what? I'll take going to the line. Herb Jones, please hit one. There we go. I'll take it. Attack hard. Dunk it, D'Lo. Nice. Let's go. Great defense, D'Lo. Straight out to Herb Jones on the break. Give us the lead. Come on, Herb Jones. I'm telling you, the budget beasts on the bench are the ones that are carry getting us back in this game. Some of the starters just aren't those guys. Kind of want them to help off. I want them to help off corner for a couple of shots with Mitchell Robinson here. Wouldn't be the worst thing to get him a couple of shots early anyway. 
They're not able to stop D'Lo going to the basket, so I'm probably going to start running pool because... Oh no, I'll put Pat Bev on. I'll play. I'll run D'Lo into the ground and play Pat Bev. He's just playing me the same way every time and giving me the same looks every time for the whole game. Okay, are they actually playing me like this now? Dunk it. They're just not stopping D'Lo at all. Why is he open? What are you doing? Why is he open? They didn't run anything. Herb Jones, you just keep leaving Tatum. You're meant to be a defender, aren't you? You're just, for some reason, deciding not to guard Tatum. Defensive foul. Oh, it's open. I'm going to shoot that. You know what? It's not a bad shot. Like, I'm pretty sure he has range. It's got to be Herb Jones. You are so bad. Good take, Clay. Come on. There we go. That's what we need. After a bad first half, we need you to have a good third here. Why am I shooting that? This isn't 2K22. Great board, Luca. Or not Luca, Clay. To a wide open three, which we missed again. Jesus, that's not good by me. Luca's there for the fade, though. And he knocks it down. Let's go. Jesus, how's 2K22 out here shooting contested shots with Luca? I'm risking it right now. I'm taking off Dirk Nowitzki just because he doesn't have the defense. And I'm going to put on Pat Bev at the two. Cover the roll, cover the roll, cover the roll. Not an easy shot, which he hits. I might have to switch that, you know. We got a lane. Good. Come on. He's expecting me to, like, not go to that. He's got a lane. Take it, Luca. How did Blake just get that block? I have been playing for so many hours and Blake just didn't block shot. That is depressing. Blake, like, fully swiped for a block right there. We, oh, no, we all know Blake just... Can't do that normally. Steal. Let's go. To your shot. On the break, Pat Bev. That's just a terrible miss. Jesus. That's a shot I'd take 10 times out of 10. Dunk it on him or make the layup. Good job, Kenny and Martin. I'm there. Let's run. Let's run. Use the other side of the basket. I'll take it. Good job, Jordan Poole. Oh, I thought that was me. I'm there. Catch the ball! Oh, you were, oh my god, it was showing a perfect height to you. Catch the ball! Hey, okay, Bones is now on the floor for what was a bad decision. Because he's guarding ball. We're there. Great defense! You have got to be kidding me! Oh my god, there's no way! There is no way he just got that animation! What are we doing here, 2K? He's gonna, he's gonna get very jumpy on this. I know he is, because he got the steal the last possession. He's gonna give me this one here. Yeah. Good. I've been struggling to s get stops. Why is he that open? What What are we doing? What are we doing on defense? I genuinely don't know what we've been doing on defense the last few possessions. Good dunk. Come on, we're back to three. Big board. Wide open. In the corner for three. Come on, D'Lo, to tie it up. Let's go. D'Lo has been... Carrying 19 points here. There's no way D'Lo just got caught. He's literally running in circles and my players are just getting stuck on his players. Good take, Herb Jones. Come on. There's no way he's going to get in here. It's a steal. Good, Mitchell. Herb Jones, straight line to the basket. Don't get swatted. Good. Back to... We've the lead. Let's go. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. We just gave up three points. I didn't press the triangle button. No, the CPU made him jump. Oh, not like this. Don't make me, like, like, I'll take a loss. I'll take a loss. I don't want to lose by something I didn't do. He's going to go for the roller. Yo, what? I'm not pressing the triangle button. Oh, my God. Kenny and Martin just jumped for no reason there. It's fine, though. He's going to miss one of these. He's going to go one for two from the line. I just know he is. He's choking right now. All right. Maybe he's not going to go one for two from the line. That's a slightly 100%. Going to go two for two from the line. Did Luca, does Luca have him? I think Luca might. Luca has him. Great job. No, give the ball to the guy who's open. It's fine. Tie game. Luca's going to take him on. Luca! What was that? I should have passed still, but Luca! All right. Floppy for Clay Thompson. He's not going to get the three-point shot. I know he's not going to get the three-point shot. But I'm not worried about it. I'm going for the two. 
Has he put me on the line? No. I know, I'm, I'm going pick and pop. Pick and pop with Clay and Luca. He's overplaying it. Clay, come up. Please come up, Clay. Spin. Adam Luca, come on! Tie game. I choked! He bump faked! He bump faked for the win! Oh my god! Did I he really just bump faked for the win? He bump faked for the damn win! He's giving me the side of the floor. The Kambe, you were open for two or for three. Just what are you doing? You know what? I left him open. That's my fault. I threw myself out of play there. Good job, Dennis Rodman here with nine. He's played. He's had a good game. Stop flexing. We're down. Oh, I shouldn't have pressed triangle. I shouldn't have pressed triangle. He choked bad right there. It's a bad miss. Shooter in the corner. He's never missing. He does not miss. Rodman's there. Nothing he can do. Blake is just OP at that one specific thing. Tie game 39 to go and we have the ball. Because he's not going to be able to guard that. Because he's Luca, you missed again for you oh. Luca. You did it again. You basically missed for game again. Pulling him out of there. Oh, I probably gave him the steal there, did I? I missed the open layup! Oh my god. Take him to the basket. Come on, D'Lo. Like, he's just running through their bodies. They're not stopping him at all here. Good steal, Herb Jones. Come on. Clay in the corner. Catch the ball quicker. That should be good. Oh, come on, Clay. Let's go. It's actually not bad defense there. That's a ridiculous shot. Oh my god, he made it. Spin him. Good take, Herb. Let's go. Herb Jones has had a real nice game here as well. Obviously, Lamelo is the main option that he's going to for everything. That's my steal! Oh, wow. There's no way he hits two of them in a row. He hit two of them in a row. Fair play. I didn't think play tag made you do that. Easy mid-range shot. Let's go. D'Lo with 27 right here. Got nothing. He's got nothing. He can't get a shot off here. Terrible shot and big board. You know, please come back and get it. Good. One, two, pick and pop. Do not let him steal the ball from you. Clay, you're going to be popping off this. We're attacking a good angle. We've hit the shooter in the corner for three. He's never going to miss. Come on. He's got the angle. No, he doesn't. To a wide open shooter right there. I don't know what they're doing, but Herb Jones has come in huge right here with 12. A good double overtime win right there. Oh, lads. I cannot believe we managed to pull that one off. And yeah, we shot a good percentage with almost everyone except for Clay and Luca. Clay and Luca did not shoot well at all. Dirk completely stung it up. And Pat Bev in four minutes of minus seven. I did not realize that. But that was the Dennis Rodman, Herb Jones, and D'Lo show. I cannot believe it. Like, D'Lo plus 20. Herb Jones plus 18. I didn't even tell him open a couple of times. Herb Jones with a perfect game there. And 13 of 16 for D'Angelo Russell. That is a crazy performance by a card that I did not think was going to be that good.